what's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video it's monday which means we got brand new aka cards in the game in today's video we're going to go over those new cards we're going to talk about the content schedule and also two surprise ltds that are in packs right now let's go ahead and start with that content schedule for the week one surprise on here it's not going to be a great surprise because i don't expect these cards to be amazing but it'll definitely help out with theme teams division dynasty part two is coming probably thursday if you take a look at the gmm schedule at the top we got both february 21st and 22nd 10 30 a.m eastern time so that's wednesday and thursday likely means that on wednesday morning we're going to get the early reveals for weekly wild cards that'll come out wednesday afternoon and then thursday morning we'll get early reveals for ginky force part two and Division Dynasty Part 2, which will come out later that afternoon. Of course, Ultimate Legends are on Saturday, Saturday mornings, and you can still vote for Team of the Year content up until I think it was February 23rd, if I'm not mistaken. And if you missed the announcement, the Team of the Year promo will be dropping on March 7th, so two weeks away from this upcoming Thursday. Let's go ahead and talk about the AKA content and two surprise Genki Force LTDs that are in packs in the game right now. We start with the solo challenges for AKA crews. These, you want to try to keep up with them like, like I'm not doing. Don't do what I'm doing because eventually these can turn into a free AKA champion of your choice, non-LTDs. Also pay attention to these different sequences because I've had a few people ask me like where are the new solos? They're in these four sections. They just keep kind of randomizing them. So today's two set cards for the AKA promo are Gale Sayers and Randall Cunningham. They are in the old school section which previously only featured Icky Woods. Now all also, just a quick point here, I can't remember what objective I specifically needed it for on my No Money Spin account, but if you need an objective or a solo to play to knock out an objective for rushing touchdowns, the first Icky Woods aka solo is the one. You start on the 10 yard line, pretty easy to score from there. You don't have to worry about the other objectives in the solo once you max out the stars. But you play through these solos, you earn milestone stars, the stars are going to give you rewards, and if you take a look at the milestone reward section, the majority of those rewards are going to be aka cruise tokens you're going to be able to trade 30 of these in and you can get these from solos if you're strictly no money spent if you do spend a money here and there there are various pack offers that will also feature these tokens but the majority of the rewards in here are going to be those tokens you got some fantasy packs you got some coin rewards and as you scroll down the rewards as far as overalls go a little bit higher as we move along but again the main draw here is tokens once you get 30 of them, you head on over to item sets, sort by AKA Cruise, and if you scroll down towards the bottom, you can see where you can actually redeem those tokens. There are a couple sets that take less tokens that give you less of a card. I would stay far away from these because I just don't think the value is there. Hopefully a lot of you haven't made that mistake already, and once you get the 30 tokens, you get a champion of your choice. The set cards today, again, are Gale Sayers and Randall Cunningham. The first 96 overall base cards, I shouldn't say base, but non-LTD cards, the champions here. So the set requirements are going to be a bit different and going to be more difficult to get or pre-build, obviously. So for Randall and Gale Sayers, you need any four 93 overall AKA cards. But the problem here is that the only choices you have are Randall and Gale Sayers, the two cards that came out today. And then the fifth card is going to be player specific. So if you want the Randall set done you're going to need his specific 93 overall you put those cards into a set in return you get the set that you do whether it's Gale Sayers or Randall Cunningham now we also have an LTD aka Cruz card out right now which is going to be Ed Too Tall Jones he has four different discounted ability buckets I shouldn't have said it that way he has four different discounted abilities in the last bucket his AKAs that start on are going to be Fearmonger or Lurk Artist if he would have had Unstoppable Force, I think that card would have been much better. He also has Avalanche in there as well, it appears. Uh, the discounted abilities on him are going to be Edge Threat Elite for 1 AP, Double or Nothing for 1 AP, Flat Zone KO for 1 AP, or Secure Tackler for 0 AP. Secure Tackler is going to be much more important when you're facing like the Marshawn Lynch card. And if we get a remake of the Quad Father or the Gus Bus cards from last year, which I fully expect to happen, uh, this ability is going to become very important. But for now, it's just overall a solid ability. The two set cards get some dis dec decent discounted abilities. You're probably wondering about Randall Cunningham. So his last ability bucket is actually really good. It gives you the three abilities that one would want in a quarterback. Gunslinger for zero, Hot Rod Master for one, or Set Feet Lead for three. 
Unfortunately, he has a generic two release, which isn't very good. So you're going to need Gunslinger on this card. If you want to go Gunslinger, Hot Route Master, Set Feet Lead, no matter what bucket you pick, which ability in, in total, it's going to cost you all eight AP on offense. So we've seen that with a lot of other cards. He's not going to be good as Doug Williams. He's not going to be good as Eric McNair. He's not going to be good as the Patrick Mahomes 99 overall card. He might be better than the 96 overall one. I'll still be trying him out because he does get double Eagles chem and obviously he was an Eagles legend so I want to give him a try but I don't expect sadly enough to be keeping him after just initially trying him out. His X factors are either run and gun or escape artists. I think that's it. Yeah, the start on Escape Artist could be good if you like to run a lot with your quarterback. Gal Sayers gets like Evasive and Energizer. I think Evasive is 1 AP, Energizer is 0 AP, and he gets Backyard, Halfback, Route Master. It's whatever ability gives him additional hot routes out of the backfield and quicker playmaker. So those are your cards uh, for the AKA Cruise portion, but surprisingly, we got two Ginky Force LTDs. Now, I don't know if this is a mistake made by EA, but Dexter Lawrence right now and its impacts has a 97 overall card. Remember, you have those elevation tokens that you can use on the higher overall cards if you want to. And with that, he's going to get some discounts here. Under pressure for one, run stopper for zero in the second to last bucket. Double or nothing for two is standard. Defensive rally for one, I think, is a good discount there. And then he also has interior threat for zero, unpredictable for zero, or inside stuff for one. So a lot of options out there with the abilities on the Dexter Lawrence card. And if we take a look at his attributes, only 80 speed, but he's 342 pounds, 97 block shed, 97 power move, only 83 finesse move. But I think with the strength to tackle, the block shed, and the power move, and inside stuff, he's going to be one of the best defensive tackles in the game there. And the other card is going to be Derwin James, who is a Mutt fan favorite, but this never is really good IRL. Like, tons of potential, but I don't know, man. 6'2", 96 speed, 94 man, 96 zone, 96 hit power. Really good looking card there from an attribute standpoint. And by the way, I don't want to move on before mentioning this. Those elevation tokens give them additional uh, X factors as well. Dexter Lawrence does get unstoppable force. So that makes him even better because that's one of the best ones there. And with Derwin James, if you want to use that elevation token on him we'll take a look at the discounted abilities in a moment here but the x factors avalanche i don't like this one because hit sticks to me just aren't very good at all uh but reinforcement is really good because you get quicker block sheds on running plays and then also knockouts on passing coverage uh whether you're in man or zone so this is a really good one right here with reinforcement as far as his discounted abilities go Tackle Supreme, 1 AP. Mid Zone KO, 0 AP. That's huge there. Uh, deep Out Zone KO. So if you want to play him as a high safety, 2 AP. Decent discount there. 1 AP Acrobat. And then also Flat Zone for 0. Pick Artist for 0. Or Medium Route KO for, for 1. I wouldn't be mad here. Like a Pick Artist and a Mid Zone KO if you play him as a sub linebacker. For zero AP plus the elevation token is going to give him that reinforcement. That's not a bad setup. So I'll have to pay attention to the pricing on that card because that one looks pretty good with all of those things considered. So part two of this promo will be dropping on Thursday. But for whatever reason today, we got 297 overall LTDs and they're in packs right now. New pack offers for the day. For one coin, you get an 86 plus BND Genki Force card. I'm going to open this one up right now. This is actually a really good deal just for one coin, obviously but this can help you with those Ginky Force objectives if you don't happen to have two of these cards in your possession. And look, we didn't get the bare minimum. We got an 89 overall for one coin. Not going to complain about it. The money offer for $1.25 is a 92 overall BND Super Bowl fantasy player. The only reason I would do this one is if you're rocking a Super Bowl theme team, you're going to get a card that can help you out with that. It would have been much better if it was a 92 plus, but it's guaranteed a 92 overall. And with the other money offers here, you have a limited opportunity pack, so a little bit under $25. 193 plus Genki Force player, and then either a 93 or a 97. And it does have the pack art for Derwin James. So maybe it wasn't accidental that they put those LTDs in packs. Hopefully we see two more LTDs on Thursday as well. I'm all for more cards. Uh, $25 for the AKA Cruise Fantasy Pack. 
189 plus guaranteed, 193 plus guaranteed, and actually a second 93 plus guaranteed. You might be able to get the LTDs out of this one. It also gives you two of those tokens we talked about. You can really earn those from playing solos, but there are pack offers like this one that guarantee you tokens. There's also a $100 offer. Again, I don't think today's cards are good enough to be dropping $100 at this point in the game for sure. So save your money there, but you do get a, a, AKA cruise tokens along with, you know, a guaranteed champion with a chance at an LTD and a bunch of cruise packs plus another 93 plus for $100. But if you're going after those 30 tokens, that's really the main draw from this bundle, that and the guaranteed champion. So uh, that is all of your content for the day. No content tomorrow. Wednesday, we should have weekly wild cards. Thursday, a lot of stuff. Saturday, a lot of stuff. And we're running out of time on the season four field pass. It expires in about a week in two days. So get to working on that. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. My name is Popular Stranger and I'm out of here. Peace.